Hey guys, it's Ava spelled ABA, and welcome back to my channel. So, um, <laughs> hey. So this is a week in my life. Just, like, crazy week that I had recently, and you saw it in the title, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> um, so if you don't know me, you won't know that I am kind of a big fan of Broadway. It's less of, like, a fan and more of, like, I'm obsessed. So I found a Broadway camp. And I went to it. And this was my week. So Monday was the first day. I was late. Because, um, I didn't know where it was. <laughs> uh, but I found it. And then I went into it. It was at Ripley Greer Studios 305? Question mark? I don't know. So I sat down with my group as soon as I walked in. Then my counselor gave me my schedule for the week. And I looked at it. And I saw that my teacher was <laughs> only Kyle Seelig. <laughs> if you don't know who Kyle Seelig is, it's this man. When I look to the stars. <laughs> my crush of the century, okay? Just like, I sat in a room with him. I turned around and I saw him and I was like... I'm not okay. Now, if you don't know me, you also won't know that Kyle Seelig is also my home screen and lock screen, which I went to camp with both still there. Walked into my first master class with both still there and sang for him with both still there and they're still there now. I was very unprepared because all these kids were like rich and like I was like a fair amount of them like knew what they were doing and had like been on Broadway before and I was just like hi. So everybody came in with sheet music and it was my turn to go up and I didn't have sheet music. I walked up and I was like hey don't have sheet music but I'm uh do you know on my own from Les Mis? But I started and I cracked. <laughs> A lot. And I turned to Kyle, and Kyle was like, why are you nervous? Like, stop being nervous. And I was like, dude, it's you. And he, like, gave me this look like, I didn't do anything. And I was like, no, dude, it's actually you. And I showed him my lock screen. And then I showed him my home screen. And me, being me, I immediately thought he would be like, that's creepy. But no, he was super cool about it. He was like, whoa, that's me. And I was like, Yes, and he was like, that's so cool. But the rest of the day was like, kind of irrelevant because I met Kyle Seelig and that's all that needed to happen. And of course I was like, I only have him for this day. I didn't, I had him for the entire week. Two hour master class in the morning with Kyle Seelig, vocal intensive, it's in crazy. It's in crazy? I don't know, words. So I just realized that I didn't talk about what I was actually doing, which is I filmed like little short clips and then at the end of the day, I'd give like my thoughts on that day. So that's what's gonna happen. There's just not gonna be like an intro to that happening. Okay, this is the intro. Here's Monday's thing. It's Ava after day one. Um, this is my check-in. I thought it was very, very fun and good and fresh. I didn't think it would be as professional as it was honestly I thought it would be very much like the other theater camps I've been to where you just kind of switch classes and stuff but no this is like a real intensive course and it has people that I know that I love teaching courses Kyle Seelig is my teacher tomorrow Taylor Louderman's coming in I doubt I'll get any footage of our rehearsal space because phones aren't allowed but I'll ask I'll be like hey I'm a youtuber can I do it but um if they say yes then we'll get some hefty hefty content I fudged up the lyrics to my song not the lyrics but like the melody you know because I've been going off a cover of it that wasn't correct so <laughs> to 
Tuesday. So same class with Kyle in the morning, but I had sheet music this time. Uh, he changed my song that morning, uh, but I didn't really care. I made him laugh. I can't complain. I had a good life. After lunch, I met Taylor Louderman, <laughs> which is amazing. And she did a vocal intensive for us. That was only like an hour and a half. If you don't know who Taylor Louderman is, get a life. Join the Broadway cult and watch the world burn. <laughs> I sing um, Still Hurting for her, which was great. And then we did a Q&A with her and Sierra Bogus, or Bogus, or Bur I don't know. And then Amir Armson, who if you don't know him, he's in the blacklist. He's done other stuff too, so like good for him. Then we had Dance with Ben Cook, um, which was fun, and he taught me how to uh, die. Um, and then I showed Renee Ben Cook, and then I listened to Renee freak out over Ben Cook. And then I left. That was that day. So that was Tuesday. Day two, my song got switched by Kyle. The camera's so shaky, I'm so sorry. My song got switched by Kyle, so now I'm doing pulled instead of there are worse things I could do. He seems to enjoy it so that's all that matters i really hope kyle watches this and just sees how sadly obsessed i am anyways um, i also had a dance class with ben cook for beginners i was put in the um accelerated course but uh i was like hey you're funny so then i didn't do that um tomorrow i'm getting my headshot done um, and tomorrow we're going to see Once on this Island, and I still get Kyle time in the morning, so I'm still happy. Wednesday, um, came in late because I was taking headshots. I didn't even end up using those headshots, I ended up using Renee's headshot. So this was one headshot where, like, I look, uh, and then I, this is Renee's headshot, which I look okay and not that bad. And it's on my Instagram, so if you want to go like it, like, go like it. Um, and then we had extra time on Wednesday, so we played games with Kyle. I met these cool kids during those games named Mia, Eve, and another Kyle who's like super cool and I really enjoyed him. Um, and then it was off to see Once on this Island, which won the Tony for Best Revival, just saying. Um, I had already seen it once before and then I saw it again. Um, and then I met Isaac Powell and Lauren Lott, who is incredible, and I stand her YouTube channel. If y'all don't watch Lauren Lott, like, get on that. <laughs> um, so, we're here at 
once on this island, Broadway, I feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. Um, we're about to go in. It's gonna be amazingly awesome. Amazingly awesome. There is an intense amount of children here. I'm getting claustrophobic. Thursday was exciting. I had the same vocal intensive class. We were just polishing up a few things. It was Kyle. And then we had lunch. And then we had dance class. This time I had dance with Beth Nicely. Yeah. Who I didn't really know, but she's amazing. Really good dancer. She taught us a contemporary dance to uh, the Dua Lipa song, the one to pick up the phone, you know where you got to go to love. And then we had a Q&A with Laura Benanti. That's, she's like Broadway legend. And then Friday came, and I loved Friday. Friday was awesome because Friday was our showcase. So showcase day, we did not go to Ripley Greer. We went to um, Baruch Performing Arts Center at Baruch College. So I got in about five minutes late because I went to go get a drink from Starbucks, and there was a large line of kids who were going to my camp. So we were all just talking about what we get at Starbucks. And then drinking our Starbucks. That's about it. So I walked in about five minutes late. They were talking about... We, we kind of did a Q&A with the, like, creator of the camp. Um, about, like, how do we audition? How do we get our equity? Blah, 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 blah. Then after that, we had a five break. We met Ashley Park, which is... Um, but yeah, Ashley Park was really exciting. Honestly, like, I can't even explain. Some kids got to sing for her. I was not one of those kids, unfortunately. I sat at the cool kids table for once in my life, um, for lunch. And, yeah, we just basically talked about television and American Horror Story and other stuff. Um, but yeah. And then we came in. We all got changed. We got dressed. This is my dress. Um, we did a dress rehearsal in which I didn't sound too bad, then we got notes, and then I went over my song with Kyle because I was nervous. The song I chose was very difficult for me to sing, so I don't really know why I chose it. It's not very easy for me to switch from a low chest to high head. Voice. And you bet I'll buy to do what's truly taboo. So you have to like switch very easily and it's very difficult when it's very fast. So it's, and you bet I'll buy to do what's truly taboo. And it's like, oh, like not even that sounded good. And I'm in the safety of my own home, right? But he said, I've been doing it great this whole time, which like, thanks Kyle. Then we just did places, honestly. We're at places for top of show. We grab Thank you, places. Why does MS No. Okay, what's up, bro? Oh, I'm I'm Mary Kate Blum at MKB1134. Okay. Hey, what's up? Uh, vlog? Is this a vlog? I do vlog. Is this a vlog? Guys, I vlog. YouTube. Would you subscribe to my YouTube channel, not her? Oh, same, same. same. Everybody has a YouTube channel. Please follow me. My Hi. Hi. Two followers. Hi. Me. Dab on the haters. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, not a lot. How many? I have, I have like, a, like 40 ish. I swear I give my love. But I get, I get, I get like a good number. Can I just say it to you? It's really funny. I don't mean it. I'm 
sniffing okay. the camera. I mean, I'm like, how many people are here? I'm gonna say 40. 40. Oh, I've never talked to 40 losers at once. <laughs> Wait, what's that from? I know that. It was very quick, very fast. Went on stage. And yeah. Whoa, why is my light doing that? But. I just went on stage and I just like sang and it wasn't my best performance of that song and you guys can tell that but it wasn't a terrible performance and then I went backstage and I hung out with my group because I was only in group two and there were four groups but yeah hmm it's really sad because I made a lot of wins I really want to go next year honestly it was really expensive but it was like really worth it you know and usually when I sing in front of large groups of people I will crack very easily um, and it wasn't because I was nervous or anything because you could see me on stage while my voice was cracking where it was like I was just like straight up like giving the audience my emotions of like this is not going the way I want it to my vocal cords are not working right now it wasn't the worst live performance I've ever done I wasn't expecting to get anything out of it except for a learning thing and I got Kyle so Kyle hit me up Damn. but it was very exciting and I'm gonna miss a lot of people there what's up with my voice today I'm going to miss a lot of the people there I've made a lot of friends I have all of their Instagram and snaps as of right now so if any of them do anything I'll be congratulating them and I can see a lot of them doing big things because some of them were like in tours and on Broadway and I was just sitting there like I like meeting maybe I'll see Kyle again someday I've already seen Mean Girls but I really want to see it again so I'm gonna try to do that by like entering the lottery a thousand times you know but yeah that was my week it was crazy it was exciting Give this video a like if you liked it, and if you didn't, go ahead and give it a dislike. I don't really care. I don't hate you. Um, subscribe if you are not, because that's interesting. Back to your non-Broadway programming. So, um, while I was editing this video, I found the best video of Kyle C. Lake I will ever find. And I thought, after watching a 17-minute video about him, you guys should share in the joy. So here's him shaving his head while he was in college. We're shaving my head, cause uh, it's time to go. Why? Why exactly? I gotta be a scary navy man. Scary navy man. Or a sexy navy man. Heyo! Or both. Definitely both.